The events of 2020 and 2021 have revealed that there is a huge gulf, a valley, a schism forming between the values of the people of the state of Florida and the rest of the formerly United States. No, I'm not saying there aren't good people north of our border, but there's a critical mass of them here, and it has made an enormous difference, and there is no better example of this than this recent petition from the man sitting in the West Wing. He asked the governor to send Florida National Guard troops to help guard his huge gate around the White House while he makes his speech tonight. And we said no. The answer will be no today, tomorrow, next week, and from here on out. Because Florida, for all intents and purposes, is its own republic. And we are slowly, culturally moving away. I have not heard any other governor refuse the request from the West Wing. Now, what truly is the difference between Joe Biden and Governor Ron DeSantis? I'm sure a lot of people could make huge laundry lists, but there's one thing that sticks out that reveals the real story. Governor DeSantis makes people feel safe. How does he do that? By having faith in the people of the state of Florida and talking to the people of the state of Florida. Over the last year, maybe a little longer, we have been doing live event after live event after live event where the governor went out and spoke 30, 45 minutes a couple times a week so that the people of the state of Florida could know that he had faith in them. He can go virtually anywhere in this state. He doesn't need fences. He really doesn't even need personal security. He is that popular because he engenders trust and safety. And you ladies out there, I need you to back me up down in the comment section. How important is it for you to have a man in your life that makes you feel safe, not just by stockpiling beans and bullets and band-aids and weapons and all this kind of stuff, but by talking to you. We've talked about this over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. Psychological operations, the basic fundamental tenet is that you have to be able to talk to people and understand what's being said back to you and listen and you can't do that when you're in an emotional state. We've used this example from Colony, the series, where this guy goes off on his own without talking to his partner and puts her in a terrible position for lack of a conversation. He could have saved her so much grief and so much worry. And make no mistake, guys, if you don't talk to your partner, someone else will. Someone else will. They may not be as big and strong and good looking as you are, but if she can't trust you, or if she doesn't know what you're thinking, or if, more importantly, she doesn't feel safe, someone else will make her feel safe. You know why Florida is this place that has girls running around like this? Because they feel safe. Doesn't Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. They'll stay home if they don't feel safe at our beaches. They won't come here in vacation. The world comes here to vacation because they feel safe. Yes, it's sunny, but there's a lot of sunny places in the world. If you would like to get read in on the tactics and techniques, psychological operations, how to speak to someone and make them feel safe, join us over at Patreon. One U.S. dollar per month. Many people have, and down in the comments, you'll see the testimonials. Later today, probably tonight, we're going to have a brand new video up talking about recent events. One guaranteed way, guys, to make your partner not feel safe, don't pay your bills. 
being dead all the time. Pinch every penny. Bounce checks every now and then. Never take her out and do nice things because you can't afford it. See, there's a difference between going to the grocery store and watching for the buy one, get one freeze, or maybe even carrying a couple coupons. That's one thing. See, that shows a smart man. But taking your girl out to eat and finding the cheapest spot in town and then making little comments about what's too expensive on the menu, you see, that's something different. That's an entirely different thing. Men, some would say, it sounds like the same thing to me. It's entirely different. Ukraine wants all of its foreign debt written off. Country owes international financial organizations over $57 billion. Wow, just in the last week? No. You see, the Ukrainians have a problem. Ukraine isn't even as big as Texas, population-wise. 41 million people with $57 billion in debt. 41 and a half million people, $57 billion in debt. All those natural resources, all of that export, all of that arable land. Now, for those of you who think that that's specific to them, Texas, Texas has a population of about 43, 44 million people, and they are 55.19 billion U.S. dollars in debt, projected to be 65.28. Texas, from your brothers in Florida, you need to get your house in order. On the other side of the spectrum, one of the reasons that D.C. doesn't want anything to do with Florida right now is our money situation. We just signed our largest budget in history, $101.5 billion. First time it's ever been over $100 billion ever in its history. But the budget leaves $15 billion in reserves. And if Florida's economy continues to go the way it's going, those reserves could hit $17 billion. Now, to put this in normal terms, imagine someone having $55,000 in debt versus someone having all of their debt paid off and having seventeen grand in the bank. Ladies, which man would you feel safer with? Would it matter how tall he was? Would it matter how old he is? Would it matter how good-looking he is? Would you choose the guy that was continually bouncing checks? Always in debt? Always pinching pennies? Or maybe somebody who wasn't quite as tall and strong and sexy, but made you feel safe and paid his bills. See, these are the questions people don't like to ask. And I hate to say it, but he's right. Washington, D.C., if it can have one thing that has uh, distinguished it from any other empire in the world is its ability to spend itself into oblivion. Built on an empire of lies? Absolutely correct. The West is an empire of lies. This is one of the biggest ones. BitConnect founder charged with orchestrating $2 billion Ponzi scheme, 27 February, 2022. PC Gamer. Steam. 50% of transactions in cryptocurrency were fraudulent. Steam, for those of you who don't know, is a gaming platform where you can go download games from all over the place, from all sorts of makers, for your PC. They thought they would get in on the crypto thing, but half Half of the transactions were fraudulent. They had to stop taking it. There's a lot of people out there saying, oh, look, Bitcoin's back over 43. It's going to go down again because there's no there there. And those of you thinking about uh, these sanctions that are being levied against Russia, how did sanctions work against Venezuela? 
Venezuela's leader pledged military pledges military cooperation with Russia. See, they're doing fine. Gas is through the roof. Oil is through the roof. They got all sorts of money coming in. They're still holding the world's largest reserves. Oh, and by the way, Venezuela reopens border with Brazil after two years. I'll tell you what, there are some people in Washington, D.C. right now that are losing sleep over this alliance. Because that border between Brazil and Venezuela, they talk about Venezuela's proven reserves. You add those to Brazil's, make Saudi Arabia look like nothing. And as we know, oil makes the world go round. Many people don't realize Brazil's military strength as well. Brazil is ranked 10th in the world in military power, second only to the United States in this hemisphere. There's nobody else even close. To give you an idea, U.S., Russia, China, India, Japan, South Korea, France, U.K., Pakistan, Brazil. Personally, I think the Brazilians, probably the only thing the Pakistanis have is nuclear weapons that the Brazilians, I don't believe, have. But if you want to go down, they're more powerful than Iran, more powerful than Germany, more powerful than Australia, Israel, even more powerful than Israel. Ukraine is only 22. Canada's 23. I'm trying to find another South American. There's no, no South American country in the top 30 other than them. So this is what's going on. This is the reality. And full disclosure, living here in Palm Coast, Florida, I have three neighbors that are Russians. Best neighbors I ever had. Ever. Quiet, respectful, decent, Christian. They pay their bills too. This should tell you everything you need to know about this conflict. Make your partner feel safe. Or somebody else will. Just like Governor DeSantis has done in the state of Florida. God bless, like, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.